Well, good day YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. And today on the Beer Review, we will be looking at this beer right here. This is from Cambridge. The brewery's in an old knife factory. A lot of their beers have a very buttery taste, which reminds me of the movie theater. Can you guess it what it is? They've also basically had the worst labels in Ontario. Labels are getting better, though. I will give them that. The labels are getting better. They're still not great, per se, but they're getting better. This is from the Grand River Brewing Company, Tailgate Lager. So, I mean, see, it's a lot better than the original labels, for those of you that aren't familiar with, uh, with Grand River. Their original labels were like on, almost on Bose paper. It was, it had that texture, that recycled te uh, paper texture. And it just would be like one color and just galt knife or um, plowman's it, or just in weird angles and stuff. And it, it wasn't that good. It looked like a 14-year-old a did it. It looked like I did it. And my graphic design, no. And I'm saying that because I'm not trying to diss you guys. I'm not trying to diss you guys, so I'm admitting if I did it, it wouldn't have been much better. Just so you know, if I did it, it wouldn't be much better. But it, it was not all that great. Uh, that being said, now they're better. Uh, that's an old truck. That is the type of truck I would expect to be tailgating in. Uh, what do we have here? Grand River Brewing, Cambridge, Ontario. The uh, dating machine is not the... Uh, most on par. It's not gotten it in its spot and it's smudged and it's off to the side. You can't really read it. Uh, ingredients. Water, barley, malt, hops. 500 milliliters, 4.5% alcohol by volume. Uh, where's my bottle opener? Where's my bottle opener? Where's the bottle opener? Get out the spigaloo glass, because everything just tastes better in a spigaloo. Okay, so there we go, 4.5% alcohol, tailgate lager, big white head, beautiful golden color, super see-through, exactly what I would expect from a beer that is called tailgate lager. Just screams tailgating, doesn't it? Because it looks, it looks like your BMC beer. It does look that part, actually, you know what, it, it kind of does and kind of doesn't, it has a little bit of that tinge of like a dehydrated pea. That little uh, almost slightly neon yellow color in it. Smell. <laughs> okay. Some roasted malts. Some bready biscuitiness. And some movie theater synthetic butter. Uh, you know, like if you go to, say, uh, Cineplex now, and you can get your real butter when you buy it, and then you can go over to the area where you get your straws and stuff, and they have the old fake butter machine where you can hold that fucking button down as long as you want, it just drops all that synthetic butter into the popcorn. That's what this smell reminds me of. Kind of makes me want to go to the movies. Yeah, it's there. It's there. Uh, it's in a lot of their beers. I... Yeah, let's try it. Cheers. You know what's the best about it? You know what you're going to get? You're going to get a beer with a buttery taste. You're going to get it. 
It's not like it surprises you after you've had a bunch of their beers. It doesn't surprise me at all to get it. It surprises me that it is, uh... I'm, no, you know what? I'm not. Uh, I run a beer festival and everything else. I can't be. I can't be mean. I can't do it anymore. I can't. Um, if this was cold, would I taste the butteriness? Possibly. Possibly not. I do drink my beers at cellar temperature, not at uh, at out right out of the fridge temperature. So that could be affecting it a little bit. Yes, it could. That being said, what's this beer taste like? Really nothing. A little bit of a little bit of a dirty English hoppiness on the back end. A little bit of bready biscuitiness on the back end. Forefront a tiny touch, a tiny tiny touch of sweetness, and then the whole middle is uh, is buttery. It actually even lasts into the finish. You're getting like that buttery taste with the uh, earthiness and the biscuitiness. It actually mixes with the biscuitiness really well because I love butter on my biscuits. I don't know about you guys, but I love butter on my biscuits. That's how I got the, to be the size I am. I buttered my biscuits. <coughs> I buttered her biscuits too, if you know what I mean. That's why I have two children. It's not really my thing. There's nothing really offensive about it, unless you find butteriness offensive. If you find butteriness offensive, not really for you. Uh, if you don't mind getting that taste in there, there's nothing wrong with the beer. It's a good little lager. It's a good tailgating lager, because almost anybody could drink it. I think it's a little too hoppy with the dirty English mud pie hops for, say, your average Coors Light drinker or your average Miller Light drinker or anyone that's used to soda water or corn chips and soda water or slightly wet cardboard soda water. And don't take that the wrong way. I know people get all up in the arms. You're making fun of my beer. No, I'm just saying that that taste is, is a taste that some people love. And if those are the tastes you're after, probably a little too hoppy for you. However... If you drink, say, I don't know, Pilsner or Kell, or uh, Beck's, or German lagers, or some, uh, some, some English pale ales like Charles Wells and stuff, and you're used to that kind of biscuity, uh, slightly dirty taste, this could probably be for you. Out of 10 on this for me, I don't know, uh, 6? It's not offensive, and it's buttery, it's just not really my thing. They're, there is a brewing fault in it that I'm pretty sure, because every one of their beers has it, that they do on purpose. I have to believe that it's on purpose to be their little, you know, some brewer, every brewery usually will have something that is their, their stick, their, uh, uh I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm completely losing my train of thought here. Uh, every brewery has something that they use as, you know, what they're known for, and I kind of think that butteriness is theirs. Whatever. To each their own. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful night. I'm going to try and finish this while watching some uh, Banshee. Bye-bye.